Gabino Black, folks, and basically I just played this a little bit, but the idea we've seen him uh, so so. But anyway, Georgia noticed a lot of people down in Georgia on the uh, eighth, eighth of this month. Okay, about eight days ago. So here you go. I'll play the footage on this. This is from uh, Telus. You can read right there in the right hand corner. And there you go. And basically, it ended up skipping pretty good on something because, as you see, that it uh, sure lit up. Okay, so I'll let the thing play full. Here we go. As you can see, it did some pretty good static something doing its turn around Earth or something. So I'll look at the eighth, see what we get for distance on that. Now remember, this is an old surveillance plane. Uh, I'm sure they've either, either either sold it to another country or we use it ourselves still for something, or it's on backup. Uh, we always got your, we always have your eyes on you. Your country always has their eyes on you or something else in the world, ladies and gentlemen. And yes, if you don't believe me, you can read right there: surveillance fleet, surveillance fleet bed, surveillance ears on you, eyes on you. Eyes on the sky. And yes, folks, this is old news. Uh, Saudi Arabian of five E3 AWACS planes. Uh, NATO. Uh, French AWACS planes. The French get spied on by their own people, too. And Europe get spied on by the French. Uh, everybody spies on everybody. And everybody can hear everybody. And everybody can see everybody. Want to see what an AWACS plane looks like? Hang on. Here's a contract that they basically, I'm not even going to read it. You can read it. 49.2 is nothing, folks. It's a drop in the water, and that's back in 2007. They already got the stuff, more than likely. It's scheduled to be completed in 2009, so they got it. They got AWACS planes. Ask anybody that's in the military. They know what AWACS planes look like. Snoopy, Snoopy in the sky. Snoopy, Snoopy all the time. And this is just... Uh, sorry about the mic action there. So this is just nothing right here. This is pretty much just part of Snoop action. Uh, satellite Snooparama. That's why there's so many... About 18,000 satellites, ladies and gentlemen, around the, United, uh, around the world. Okay, Orbiting around the world all the time. 18,000 plus satellites. Okay, Go to a satellite map. Snoopy, Snoopy, all the time. Snoopy, Snoopy, in the sky. Snoopy hears me before I even upload the video. Snoopy, Snoopy, in the sky. So we're uh, looking hunky-dory on the North Pole. But then our ass end is hanging out big time. On our oral magnetism out there in space. So, And they've got some interesting sun shots here. got unsettled activity right now unsettled and then we have these from ghosts and as you can see we're still getting our marble action something rolling over rolling into our huge CMEs whether it's electrical static or not let's go to the data down here scarring is looking a little less of what I call scarring anyway the map of the coronal ejections and we can go down to the data and as you see the projection map is even spike okay so when they do put their projections of what they think that they're gonna get and then we even get spikes above it all over the place all the way through pretty much so it's doing a lot more than what they expect it to do okay and we are sitting at calm down anyway to at least we're staying the most spike we had was a C class of recent last 48 hours 
so 24 hours there we go and as you see they're moving the map stuff around so you got to go looking for it a little bit i don't understand what that what they're reasoning on that maybe they put some new stuff in i think that one goes shot this might be new but anyway and then there is cme action uh pretty wild too and then let's take a look where your weakness for your earthquakes central america brazil chile uh deep south pacific and then also over here africa so i would say uh something probably really big down south australia probably and with this in between there it would not be very so let's, i haven't looked at earthquake shit let's take a look at that but let's pop up finish looking at everything uh i wanted to show you so we get luckier in hell because there's a huge cme and if you see the uh projected uh it's going to be really interesting to uh, impressive to see how well that stereo a because there you go because msl is over here that's a different satellite but stereo a right there got a huge cme and as you can see it projects to see that the the course of its uh, orbit that it's got is going to be heavily impacted by a CME there. Let me blow that up for you and you can see the date and the time. Remember this is the date there. So on the 20, right about 21st, 20, 21st, bam, 20 for, uh, the 20th and the 21st and through. That is a huge CME there. I guess that must have been a, the high C class CME, but it sure looks like nasty. At least it's not coming towards Earth, but Earth is right there. So that was a massive coronal mat. mass ejection CME. So, and they just have it as a you seen earlier. It looked like a C. So, so anyway, let's hope the satellite handles it okay. So, be interesting to see shots from from uh. Stereo A. This has Creative Commons, so basically I want to show all of it, okay, so to share it. And basically, you see it all right here. And they got Creative Commons, but I'm showing you that basically Itchy uploaded it. And uh, these guys here are the one that put it out on the tube. And I think you very much should go listen to it. They basically blowing steam off about what is actually being totally propaganded in the United States and around the world for we know what kind of markets okay uh, it is unhealthy there is rads out there okay these people will probably be ostracized okay and even possibly Beano Black and Beano Black doesn't care Beano Black has been ostracized already before because Beano Black is going to be dirt poor someday okay so uh, basically uh everything that they're talking about is true and you're not going to see it on the boob tube because that's why we call it the boob tube propaganda is only going to give you what they want you to follow those are fcc licenses and they are the richest people in the world in the united states and they have those news agencies to fill you with propaganda and blow smoke up your ass 24 7. they give you a little bit of truth and hide all this because Forget this shit here. This is bullshit. There is a lot of BS on the internet. But this here, you listen to this show, uh, they're venting and telling you exactly what the hell's going on. Okay? We have rats CPM and they are invisible. Now, this stuff is horse shit. Okay? And people watch horse shit. Young kids and idiots watch that. Okay? And if not, they'll put fake counts on it just to make it look to be. They want to scare you, they want to freak people out, and then they want everybody to laugh and go, oh, there's nothing going on, there's no rats, there's no CPM, apocalypse, come on. And, well, they're, with, they're probably not, no apocalypse. This is a bunch of horse shit right here, but I'm basically right around there, you know, crap like that. So, but this talk about rats CPM is totally truthful. Now, beta is the CPM and rats that's dangerous for you, okay? Uh, anything above 130 is not healthy, okay? And... You should see one spike through the map, which would be the highest, which could possibly be to clear out the deal normally. 
but who knows this could be it doesn't really matter but all these other spikes and anything above 130 which is somewhere right about here which is blurred actually I think this is 180 right here or 100 140 if I remember and recall right yeah I think it's 140 right there so right there anything above this is unhealthy for you okay and then we're gonna scroll down I have the scroll it seems to be working all right now this is all if you watch the date there March 19th this is all updated okay and like I say there's some places that are safe some places aren't reporting because they probably are hiding something Okay, if you see blank, they don't want to let you know. Okay, even this is considered high, okay? And as you see, it is up above 130 right there. Even if it's a clearing of the box, this is not good right here because this is right at level of danger there. Not going to comment because basically you can play back through the uh, the uh, deal and get the, and basically you can see, if you keep your eyes open, you'll see all the places that are, because we're not going to try to discriminate here at all. We'll just roll down through everything. And you know 130 CPM is dangerous to your health occupational-wise, okay? Okay, so we're just going to keep going. We don't really say much about any certain because it's all 50 states. And we just like, you know, and not every state, I don't believe, has one. Uh, but... Uh, so, basically all this is true. And uh, sad but true. Uh, they took the vol. Basically, the, they used to be able. They used to be able to see exactly because. But they took the box, which gets cleaned out when they do a test every time. Uh, don't let them use those for excuses because they're still wanting to know kind of what. They they still have to clean the box out. The machine doesn't work unless it cleans itself out. Okay, but the volume is the most important thing. But see this graph doesn't hide the vol doesn't let the volume screw you up basically this is going to show you what's there and the goofy thing is is they messed the volume a long time ago to try to make the readings look low okay and we have proof of it there's tons of people on the internet we've got proof of it it's all hidden and put away for basically there has I mean when you're lying to your public about what that's a crime and forget high crimes and misdemeanors because that's what protects all the House and Senate all the time. High crimes and misdemeanors. It's all misdemeanors. It's just like a slap on the little pee pee or a slap on the butt. Okay. Uh, there are problems and no one's standing up. No one's saying anything. No one's doing anything. And really, there's nothing. That's the deal is you can't do shit. It's all invisible. Okay. And like I said, if you see nothing, they're not letting you know. Okay, and higher altitudes do get a little bit more propagation, and CPM and RADs do fornicate to other CPM and RADs that are formerly there. So we'll just keep on scrolling here. You'll be able to freeze this, and pretty much with me going through here, if you see a tan and then pop, you see information. That was the information. I didn't scroll fast enough to skip through anything. Okay. So there's a lot here listed. I don't have a clock on time on the recording, so I'm just going to keep on scrolling through here. We see something pretty high. We pretty much take a look at it. And uh, pretty much everything is. Okay? No playing around. You can go to the Internet and go to the EPA site. They have to show this stuff, and then that's why certain places don't show what's there. They just have uh, technical difficulties, glitches, and they'll never be fixed, okay? Certain places are honest. CPM and RADs, counts per minute of radiation in your area. They take the background out, and it all gets calculated, and you get to see how many CPM and RADs per minute. Anything above 130 is an occupational hazard. Just doesn't all of a sudden... Uh, become all this ass games where the idea well this is safe for you and that's okay and fuka fudge up ladies and gentlemen fuka fudge up 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 means exactly what you f u c k think it means and it is basically a natural disaster light propagation from space and then we ended up with earthquake and it had a big tsunami and it knocked out all